downtown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Good job, D. Good job, D. That's right. Man, that's right. That's right, though. So second and medium, second and five now. time he's not going anywhere they'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage they'll say no gain on the play there and now it'll be third down so nothing there but maybe you blame that on the blocking yeah some point you've got to win at the point of attack and on that play that was all the defense they made it happen third play here this opening drive as they're up against a third and five And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Now it's second and seven. five-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. So here we go, a third down after the second down pass completion. And the third down pass falls incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. He gets it away, and I think they'll smartly play keep away here from Brown. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Carry for Le'Veon Bell. Bell sheds him off. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. 
It's funny, partner. Le'Veon Bell, when he came out of Michigan State, when I go back and look at my analysis of him and what my grades were for him, I thought he was a big-time player, great potential. But I didn't know we were going to get this player. I was used to a big, solid, thick running back. But now I've got a full package, a guy who can do everything, as we just saw there, including breaking tackles. But at the time, second round pick in 2013, some people probably wishing they'd taken him in the first. Play clock winding down. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. On second down, it's Bell. A gain of a yard gets them back where they started. Now it's third and ten. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Third down now following the run. And the play clock's running down. On third down, Roethlisberger. He gets it to Brown, complete. Roethlisberger hooking up with Brown to get the Steelers at first. I know everyone wants that prototypical wide receiver, you know, the 6'3", 200-plus pound guy, like a Julio Jones and A.J. Green and Des Bryant. Antonio Brown just shatters that, doesn't he? Smaller in stature, but still able to use his quickness, his elusiveness, and his strength to create big plays. Now a first down carry by Bell. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. of seven. So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. away and look at this this is a good one this is fielded at the seven 12 yards on the return that time and the eagles will have it taking over first and ten philadelphia getting set to take the field and our game's hit a little bit of a lull here a little bit of a snag punts on back-to-back -back drives 
and old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. just past the 35 at the 36. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. They've got it second and four to start things out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. He'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. it away a directional kick going toward the sideline and no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds and now out come the Steelers and you know their previous possession they were able to move the football but still wound up punting in the end you know in 2016 Carolina had a 20 play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes and remember how it ended in a punt yeah I mean how does that happen you just don't see that happen every day and this one maybe not quite that bad but still you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long agreed and they do finally get him but he takes it to the 25 it's a big run that time by Bell 49 yards of a full three yards and now it's second down every year i go to the combine to marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays they run like dbs and let's face it they know how to finish plays too eyes up head up run right through them Second down, Roethlisberger. This is Bell on the jump off. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. Call it a pickup of seven, and they're going to have a third down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. A gain 
the 10, good for a Steeler first down. You use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Flush to his right. And oh, he is really late out that time. Knocked flat on his back at the four-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. On the counter, here's Bell. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. They allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. And the Steelers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, batting at the line and intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. And tough starting field position here. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's only able to get it to right around the three. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. to show for it. Still inside the five. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. The Eagles on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And they're going to get the first down here as he's up to the 14. Try to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped, 10 yards, first down. here in the first half. And partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again, <laughs> and, and again, again, and again. And again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Elliott now to kick this one away.
This is fielded at the goal line. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down right at the 20. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. Back to Heinz Field after this. Start out on the ground with Bell. And he is knocked down from the side at the 18-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. Fletcher comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Fletcher Cox with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. It's Roethlisberger. Brandon Graham. He's the one to get him this time. And back-to-back -back sacks are going to bring up a fourth down. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And he's able to get it out of there. This is a pretty good kick. That's taken it around the 40. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. left side and he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory give him 30 yards there well that certainly looked like the Torrey Smith we knew in Baltimore a guy can just run past defenses and what do they say take the top right off of them game changing speed and the days in Baltimore good days in San Fran not so great but now hoping to get back to his former self I would say they have an extremely motivated wide receiver in Torrey Smith This is a Jai, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. Now a toss play. It's a Jai, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And Elliott puts this one through. And that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he 
He's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think that they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Again, it's Bell. He finds some open field here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this across midfield to the 48. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now they'll throw it with Roethlisberger. A screen to Bell. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Go, 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 go. Here we go. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Roethlisberger. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football. Incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on four. They'll go for it with Bell. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Call it a one-yard gain on the play. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. on first down. And Bryant's got it over the middle. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there were very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. That 
after the penalty, it's Bell. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Roethlisberger. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two score games, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. This offense so far on third down, they've converted just two for six thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. Defense likely bringing pressure here. Third and goal on the two. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. on the board here. It's 10 to 3. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run at them. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's yeah. just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Second down following the run. On play action, they'll throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Torrey Smith, the intended receiver, and it's third down. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. They'll set up a throw. And 
incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free. Because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Yikes, terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. And the Steelers set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Don't know about that. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. But it was stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. just one of the best connections in the league. Big Ben throwing it to Antonio Brown, and Antonio Brown has turned himself into such a player. A low-round draft pick, but you can't beat his determination or work ethic, and Big Ben welcomes that. And Big Ben won a Super Bowl at 23, youngest ever to do so, has never looked back. Now Roethlisberger going to hand the bell. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play and it'll be second and goal. Tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They'll be 
begin the drive with a jelly. Even with that broken tackle, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. A gain of three, second down. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game, the effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage, I really liked what he did there. Back now in Pittsburgh. Knotted up here at 10. That's our score as we begin quarter number four. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now Foles. Airing it out deep for Smith. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Well, they haven't had a whole lot of success in the passing game here. Now in the second half, he's thinking, I guess maybe just take a shot deep. I think you're right. Almost looking for a bailout, isn't he? Can my receiver go up and make a big play for me? Can I create a penalty downfield? Maybe pick up an interference call or get that yardage downfield? Anything trying to get going again, but you're right. He definitely took a shot. The Eagles on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Set up to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Sean Davis with a pick. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. The give is to Bell. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll try the right side with Bell. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Give to Bell. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Second down, eight. They'll run it now, out of the gun. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. Now 
And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and seven. for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. is still a long ways from over. And you love to be able to look up at the scoreboard and see that you're out in front. But then you take one look across the field and see that offense is raring to come back out. And you think, I don't know the field goals are going to be enough to get us home. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll start out on the ground with the Johnny. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. And on second and ten now. Toss it to a Ajayi. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. He couldn't get the edge there. It wasn't sealed, so maybe not all on the guy running the football all the time on those tosses and the pitches that go to the outside. No, not at all. I would agree with that totally because sometimes the defensive guys, they win the edge battle. And when they do that, there's no place for the running back to go, and especially for offensive linemen trying to get out ahead. But their footwork and speed is negligible on that play. No gain at all for the offense. The Eagles on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 11. Foles. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. Here's Donnie Jones now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, 
that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah. Run what put you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. But has not been the best game for him. But he definitely tried to get by with a little help from his friend there, trying to create a big play. Couldn't do it, fell incomplete. But you're right, hasn't been a banner game here in the second half, just trying to get going. Big thing is trying to keep confidence up and continue to fire. the 23-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. There's a handoff to a Johnny to begin the drive. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's Foles. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off William Gay. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. And a great spot to start this drive from here. way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. He's going deep for Brown. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is going to be third and 13. up fourth. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long, he's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter, in the zone, the ball seems bigger, and he's just rocking it. These guys, they've got it going to deck. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give him some breathing room and lets him build up a little cushion. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. 
The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. He got 29 yards that time. So the offense has it first and 10. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Midfield strike, they look to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Bud Dupree in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And pressure gets to him again. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Mike Mitchell, and he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make, and I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. After a fairly minimal pickup, give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. For us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL.